The Secrets of the Machine Gods update brings us not only a new map, but also five brand new weapon types for us to use. Here is a brief overview of these weapons and what to expect while using them. Please note, while this patch also includes three new pickaxe weapons for Ogryn, they were unfortunately not ready for this press build and will not be showcased in this video. The Iron Helm Mark IV shotgun is a double-barreled shotgun that packs a serious punch, boasting a high damage output and high stagger power with a moderate reload time. You can choose to fire either one or both barrels of the shotgun by either hip-firing for one barrel or aiming down the sights for both, the latter of which has a much higher damage and stronger stagger power than the former. From my testing, it appears as if the double-barreled shotgun is going to primarily be a flak armor and rager busting tool, with the ability to also offer short bursts of horde clear or general stagger if need be, and it can offer some carapace damage if you pair it with Zealot's Fury of the Faithful to grant it carapace armor piercing. It also offers some hard stagger on demand like the revolvers do, which can be incredibly helpful when fighting crushers, maulers, and other elites. Keep in mind, though, that this is all just speculation and educated guessing on my part. I was unable to test this weapon with blessings as all blessings were non-functioning in this patch, so I was unable to gather any solid information and further testing is still required. Its special attack offers both a light and heavy attack melee variant, similar to what the Headhunter autoguns also have. The Shock Mauls are new one-handed blunt weapons that offer some new playstyles and combos. There are two new variants, the Indignatus Mark III and the Agni Mark IA. The Indignatus is more geared towards horde damage and horde control, with an easy and effective horde clear combo of heavy light repeating, similar to the Mark IV Devil's Claw Sword. It also has an effective single target combo of light attacking to get to the second heavy attack, then heavy light repeating to chain together the heavy overhead strike and light uppercut attack. You can also chain this combo via a push attack rather than a light attack if you so desire. The Agni 1A, however, is better geared towards single target damage, with an incredibly effective single target combo of heavy light repeating, which offers a higher damaging and faster single target combo than the Mark III. Its horde clear combo is light heavy repeating, which trades the good attack angles and fast attack speed of the Mark III for more awkward attack angles and a slower attack speed for some higher base damage. Both of these weapons share a unique special attack, in which you use the Shock Maul as a taser to briefly stunlock a target in front of you and deal damage over time to them, which continues to linger after your attack concludes. The Shock Mauls also have some new and unique blessings, including one that allows for a damage increase and stun on a successful parry. The Godwin Branks Bolt Pistol is a semi-automatic magazine-fed pistol that offers high damage and stagger power in a pocket-sized form. Its hip fire has incredibly high recoil that is hard to control, while aiming down sights makes the recoil more bearable, although like the regular Bolter, firing too fast significantly drops the accuracy. The Bolt Pistol is best suited for medium to short ranges due to its low accuracy when firing quickly and ability to deal occasional AoE damage, but it can also be used as a long-range weapon due to its surprisingly extreme range. The Special Attack is a frontwards bash with medium stagger, similar to the default Bolt Gun. Along with these weapons comes the new mission Clandestum Gloriana, in which we are sent to explore an old foundry plex after being tipped off by a mysterious man named Swagger, an old friend of Grendel who claims that there might be something of interest within the abandoned Mobian Steel Factory. The Secrets of the Machine Gods update launches Tuesday, June 25th, but you don't have to wait until then. I'll be streaming an early access version of this update tonight, June 24th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on my Twitch channel for us to experience the new content together. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.